Welcome to the Medicare and your CalPERS Health Benefits webcast. In this webcast, we'll cover information you may need to know regarding how your CalPERS Health Benefits coordinate with Medicare. This presentation is for members whose employer participates in the CalPERS Health Benefits program. If your employer does not participate in the CalPERS program, then speak to your employer about your health benefits as a retiree. Before we get to the main presentation, let's take care of some housekeeping items. To provide you with a future reference, and to make your note-taking easier, we've provided a learning guide for this webcast. You'll see the link to the learning guide in the YouTube description box. Please note that due to the large number of participants, even though the chat feature is active, we won't be able to respond to member questions during this webcast. If you have any questions, please contact us directly. In this presentation, we'll cover what Medicare is, how and when you should enroll in Medicare, CalPERS health plans that coordinate with Medicare, the Medicare reimbursement available to state employees, and some resources where you can find more information. Let's start with a brief overview of Medicare. Medicare is a federal government health insurance program which is administered by the Center for Medicare and Medicaid Services, or CMS for short. The Social Security Administration is responsible for determining Medicare eligibility, enrollment, and premiums. Medicare is for individuals who are 65 or older. It also may apply to those who are under age 65 with certain Social Security approved disabilities and for those who are diagnosed with end-stage renal disease, ESRD, or amyotrophic lateral sclerosis, ALS. Members who are retired, under age 65, and enrolled in Part A and Part B may voluntarily elect to enroll in a CalPERS Medicare health plan. CalPERS will not automatically enroll them. They must notify CalPERS of their desire to enroll. CalPERS only automatically enrolls members over 65 into Medicare when we receive their Part A and B enrollment info. If a member elects to enroll in a CalPERS Medicare health plan when they're under age 65, they may not return to a basic plan unless they are involuntarily terminated from Parts A and B. Medicare is comprised of several parts. There's Part A hospital insurance, Part B medical insurance, then the Medicare Advantage Health Plan, Part C, and Part D Prescription Drug Insurance. It's important to understand that Medicare does not cover all medical expenses or the cost of most long-term care. So let's break these parts down a little further. Medicare Part A is hospital insurance that helps cover inpatient care in a hospital or skilled nursing facility after a hospital stay and some home health care or hospice care. Part A is free for most people if you've worked at least 10 years in Social Security Medicare covered employment. Part A can also be purchased, but it isn't required. You may also qualify through a current, former, or deceased spouse. The spouse only needs to be 62 years of age. If you're under age 65, you may qualify for premium free Part A due to a disability or if you have ESRD or ALS. Part B is medical coverage. It helps pay for doctor services, outpatient care, and some other services not covered by Part A. The Medicare Part B premium amount is determined annually by the Social Security Administration and comes out of your Social Security check. If you don't receive Social Security, the premium is billed to you. It's important to remember that you must maintain your Part B coverage with the Social Security Administration in order to maintain your CalPERS health coverage. If you are already receiving Social Security benefits, you should enroll in Medicare Part A and Part B. You can begin signing up three months before your 65th birthday. Some people are eligible for Part B before age 65 if they qualify based on being deemed disabled by Social Security. If you're retired but not yet drawing your Social Security benefits, you're required to enroll during the initial enrollment period. You have a seven-month period in which to sign up for Part B. If you're eligible at age 65, your initial enrollment period begins three months before your 65th birthday, which includes the month you turn age 65. But keep in mind that to continue your CalPERS health benefits, you must enroll by your 65th birthday or risk losing your benefits. You may also enroll if you retire after age 65 when your health coverage as an active employee ends. The longer you wait to enroll, the more you'll pay. 
A federally mandated penalty of 10% is added to the monthly premium for each 12-month period that you could have enrolled but didn't. Please keep in mind that this is not a one-time penalty. It's a permanent increase to your monthly Part B premiums. There is only one opportunity to enroll each year if you miss your initial chance. It's important to understand that you will still need to purchase Part B if you will qualify for Part A in the future through a spouse. Medicare Part C is a Medicare Advantage health plan that is approved by the Centers for Medicare and Medicaid Services. These plans coordinate benefits directly with Medicare and basically encompass Parts A, B, and usually Part D. We'll cover what plans are offered a little later. Medicare Part D is the prescription drug benefit. CalPERS-sponsored health plans include prescription drug coverage that's comparable to Part D. Our Medicare plans automatically enroll you. You may receive multiple solicitations by mail regarding enrollment into a Part D plan. As a CalPERS member, you should not enroll in any Medicare Part D plans outside of CalPERS. If you do, you'll lose your CalPERS health coverage. Now let's talk about the CalPERS Medicare enrollment process. State law requires that if you're retired and eligible for premium-free Part A, you must enroll in both Medicare Parts A and B and be placed in a CalPERS Medicare plan. If this requirement is not met, you'll be canceled from your CalPERS health coverage. If you're not entitled to Medicare Part A, then you have two choices. You can provide proof of ineligibility for Medicare Part A and remain in a CalPERS basic health plan. Or you can elect to purchase Part A. If you do this, then you'll be required to enroll in Medicare Part B as well and coordinate your CalPERS health benefits with Medicare. If you do not qualify for premium-free Medicare Part A, but qualify for Medicare Part B, you may be able to enroll in the Kaiser Permanente Senior Advantage KPSA plan. KPSA is the only Medicare Advantage plan offered by CalPERS in which members without premium-free Medicare Part A, but with Medicare Part B, are allowed to enroll. It's important to understand that if you are eligible for Medicare, you must enroll or your CalPERS health coverage will be terminated. If you're already retired, you'll receive notification from us before your 65th birthday. Although regulations only require CalPERS to provide one notice to enroll in Medicare, we'll send you a total of four notices. The first notice is sent four months prior to the 65th birth month. The second notice is sent two months prior to your 65th birth month. And the final reminder is sent one month prior to the 65th birth month. With each of these notices, you're sent a health plan options flyer which gives information regarding the Medicare plans available to you, as well as an ineligibility of Medicare certification form. You complete this form if you do not qualify for Medicare or if you continue to be covered under an employer group health plan. If a member does not respond to the first three notices, a cancellation notice is sent on the first day of their 65th birth month, and a health cancellation is set on their account for the first of the following month. If you are enrolled in Medicare A and B prior to the final reminder notice, which comes 30 days before your birthday, then nothing is required on your part. We will work with the Centers for Medicare and Medicaid Services to automatically transfer you to a CalPERS Medicare health plan. If you aren't enrolled prior to age 65 or we don't receive notification from CMS, then you will need to complete a Certification of Medicare Status Form and submit it with a copy of your Medicare A and B card. There are two reasons that you may need to complete the Ineligibility of Medicare Certification Form. The first reason is if you're still working beyond age 65 and covered by an active group health plan through you or your spouse. This is the scenario if you retire from CalPERS covered employment and take another job that provides health care benefits, or if your spouse is still working and you are covered under their employer group health plan. You'll still receive the required first notice four months prior to your 65th birthday that we mentioned earlier. However, because you're still on an active plan, you defer your Medicare enrollment until you retire. The other reason you would complete the form is that you are claiming Medicare ineligibility because you don't qualify based on your work record or that of your spouse. Remember, it's important to complete this form if you fall under one of these situations to avoid having your CalPERS health benefits canceled. Let's talk about what you need to do if you retire after age 65. Once you retire and if eligible, 
you must enroll in Part B within 60 days of your separation from employment. This is the special enrollment period. You'll need to contact Social Security and enroll in Medicare Part B. You'll then need to submit the Certification of Medicare Status Form along with a copy of your Medicare card or eligibility letter from Social Security. Failure to enroll in Part B and notify us will result in an automatic cancellation of your health coverage. Any forms or documentation that you submit to us should include your CalPERS ID number. This is your unique identifier for doing business with CalPERS. You can find this number in your My CalPERS account under the Profile tab, then select the Personal Information link. Not all CalPERS health plans coordinate with Medicare. Let's review the ones that do. CalPERS offers two types of Medicare-coordinated health plans, Medicare Advantage plans, also known as Managed Medicare, and Supplement to Medicare plans. Medicare Advantage plans, or Managed Medicare plans, are when you assign your Medicare benefits to your health plan. CalPERS offers Medicare health benefits plans for all the basic plans offered, except for HealthNet. If you're enrolled in HealthNet, which does not have a Medicare plan, then when you or your dependents go on Medicare, you'll need to change health plans. Enrollment by you or your family members in a CalPERS Medicare health plan will not affect other family members who are enrolled in a CalPERS basic health plan. Unless they are Medicare eligible, they will continue their enrollment in a CalPERS basic health plan as part of a combination plan. A combination plan means that at least one family member is enrolled in a Medicare health plan and at least one family member is enrolled in a basic health plan through the same health carrier. CalPERS requires all family members to have the same health carrier. CalPERS offers two supplement to Medicare plans, PERS Gold and PERS Platinum. These plans are considered Preferred Provider Organizations or PPOs. Once enrolled in these plans, Medicare becomes your primary provider and your CalPERS plan becomes the supplement to Medicare. There are also Association Medicare plans available to those who are dues-paying members of these organizations. They are the California Correctional Peace Offers Association, which offers the CCPOA Supplement to Medicare plan, which is transferring to a Medicare Advantage plan effective January 1st of 2023, and the Peace Officers Research Association of California, which offers the PORAC Supplement to Original Medicare, and the California Association of Highway Patrolmen, who offer the CAHP PPO plan. There are permitting events that allow you to change your Medicare plan. You can change plans when you or any of your dependents enrolls in Medicare and coordinates their care with CalPERS. You can change it during the CalPERS Health Open Enrollment Period, which is held during the fall each year. The changes made during open enrollment become effective January 1st of the new year. You can change your health plan when you retire. Other permitting events include birth or adoption of a child, marriage, and loss of coverage. And finally, you can change your plan when you move. The change due to a move can be made 31 days prior and up to 60 days after you move. It's important to understand that the basic plan you're on may not have a Medicare option. You should review our website to find out which plans are available to you. You can use the Health Plan Search by Zip Code tool to look for Medicare plans available in your area or an area that you may be moving to. In your MyCalPERS account, you can use our Search Health Plans tool to compare plans. You can search for your doctor and compare premiums and different features such as physician services, prescription drugs, chiropractic care, and more. Public agency and school retirees are not eligible for Medicare Part B reimbursement. You should contact your employer about any kind of reimbursements that they may offer. If you're a State of California or California State University, CSU, retiree, you may be eligible for a reimbursement of your Medicare premiums. If you're a State of California or CSU retiree enrolled in a Medicare plan, you may be entitled to a reimbursement of a portion of your Part B premium. The reimbursement would be the difference between the contribution the state pays and your health plan's premium, not to exceed the amount of the Part B premium. If your health plan's premium is greater than the state's contribution, then there would be no reimbursement. Also, the reimbursement may not include any late enrollment penalties. 
you may be eligible for an increased reimbursement for your Part B premium based on the Income Related Monthly Adjustment Amount, or IRMAA. The Part B premium amount that you pay may vary based on your Social Security income. Most people pay a standard premium, but if you have a higher income, you may pay more for your Part B premium. Social Security adjusts the premiums annually. In mid or late fall of each year, CMS will send you a Medicare beneficiary letter advising you of your new benefit amounts, which includes your Part B premium amount. You must submit a written request to us each year with a copy of your benefit notification letter to receive payment. Please write your CalPERS ID on every page of your IRMA notice before submitting it to CalPERS. If you do not send your IRMA notice to CalPERS, you will only be reimbursed up to the standard amount. You can also upload your IRMA documents in your My CalPERS account by selecting the Health tab, then the Health Summary option. Scroll down to the Health Deductions section and select the Submit Documents link. Now let's discuss some valuable resources available to you. One of the best resources you can use is the CalPERS website. Under the Retirees tab, you can find health and Medicare information and links to additional resources. For information related to your own health benefits, including coverage type, premium, and dependent information, you can review the Health Plan Summary page in your own MyCalPERS account. You can also upload your Medicare documents. And finally, the website for the Centers for Medicare and Medicaid Services, which oversees the Medicare program, at cms.gov. There are several publications that provide information regarding your health benefits. The CalPERS Medicare Enrollment Guide covers how Medicare works with your health benefits and when you need to enroll in a CalPERS Medicare plan. The Health Benefits Summary explains the differences between HMO and PPO plans. The Health Program Guide, which talks about basic and Medicare health plan eligibility, enrollment, and choices. The Evidence of Coverage publications review the terms and conditions of coverage including benefits, covered services, and co-payment information for each health plan. If you're unable to find the information you need on the web, you can contact us in the following ways. You can send a secure message through your own MyCalPERS account. You'll be notified by email that you have a response waiting for you in the message center. You can reach us at 888-CALPERS or 888-225-7377. Our representatives are available from 8 to 5 Monday through Friday. In most cases, they can assist you in a single call. The busiest times to call us are the first of the month, Mondays, and the day after a holiday. For questions regarding Medicare, you can contact the Social Security Medicare hotline at 800-772-1213. Another resource for help with Medicare issues is the Health Insurance Counseling and Advocacy Program. You can review their website at cahealthadvocates.org slash HICAP or call them at 800-434-0222. Before we end, I want to remind you that this webcast, like our previous webcasts, is available as a video on our YouTube channel. You can access our YouTube channel through our website www.calpers.ca.gov or directly on the YouTube website at www.youtube.com calpers. Our presentation today was intended to provide you with an introduction to Medicare and your CalPERS health benefits. We hope this information has been helpful to you. To reinforce the information you've received today, I encourage you to take one of our member education classes. You can enroll in your MyCalPERS account under the Education tab. Please note that CalPERS is governed by the Public Employees Retirement Law. The information in this webcast is general. The retirement law is complex and subject to change. If there is a conflict between the law and the information presented in this webcast, any decisions will be based on the law. Later today, you will receive an email with a short evaluation. Please answer all of the questions as it is important for us to get your feedback to help us improve these presentations. Thank you for taking time out of your day to attend this presentation and have a great day.